In this video, I'll be sharing with you some of the fit and healthy habits I like to do while on vacation, as well as some do's and don'ts when it comes to physical and mental health. So sit back, grab a snack, and enjoy. Sleep is probably one of the biggest predictors of your health and longevity. So recently, I've been trying to just allow my body to wake up naturally and not set an alarm, especially on vacation. As soon as I've blinked my eyes a few times and gotten the crust out of it, I try to hop out of bed first thing to really kickstart my day. And while it's not necessary, I like to make my bed even on vacation because this just really helps me feel a lot more productive. The next small habit I always try to do is chug a big glass of water first thing in the morning to rehydrate, especially after hours of not drinking anything. My first biggest do for you is get sunshine first thing in the morning as this increases dopamine and leverages a healthy increase in energy, immune system function, and your overall mood. It also helps regulate your circadian rhythm, especially if you're jet lagged. A big don't is don't check your social media first thing in the morning. Studies have shown that this can lead to increased stress and anxiety. Instead, I like to give myself at least an hour to adjust, so I'll read a book I find motivating or inspiring or just really interesting. And I've also really gotten into doing affirmations and gratitude journaling. I just find this really helps me continue manifesting the life I want. And speaking of finding morning motivation, doing some movement has been shown to increase brain waves and just overall help you feel more inspired. And look, I know being on vacation isn't about being productive, it's more about enjoying yourself, but I personally find that doing a little bit of movement just helps me feeling good throughout my time. If you're thinking about adding anything to your workout routine, whether you're on vacation or just at home, I really recommend doing some strength training of any kind. Especially if I don't have a gym, I'll do some body weight exercises and this feels hard enough and trust me, a lot of exercises are actually very intense even with just your body weight. Also, when you're doing core, go slow and controlled. And again, don't feel any pressure to work out, especially on vacation, because it's all about relaxing and enjoying yourself. Now that we have some of those morning routine ideas out of the way, let's go get some breakfast and talk a bit about nutrition. As a holistic nutritionist, I'm very aware of what my body needs in order to thrive, but I also believe being on vacation is about enjoying yourself, and I think the biggest thing that has helped me overall in my own relationship with food is not viewing food as good or bad, but really just focusing on how it feels. A lot of the times, healthy food genuinely makes you feel good. I don't like to refer to other foods as unhealthy because these are still perfectly healthy in a balanced diet and they feel good for the soul. So that's the most important part. But because I want to give you a more in-depth breakdown of nutrition, here are some things you should look out for or just be aware of and try to include more of in your diet when traveling. If you have tummy troubles when traveling, here are some recommendations for you. Try taking a probiotic supplement. I also really recommend taking magnesium. Peppermint or ginger tea can help with an upset stomach or with digestion. And if you struggle with sugar rushes or crashes, try eating more protein throughout the day, but also forgive yourself because you're on vacation and you should be able to enjoy all the food that is available to you. One of my favorite health quotes by Michael Pollan is, eat food, not too much, mostly plants. I feel like this really simplifies eating healthy and intuitive eating because so much of what you see online just really overcomplicates it. Here's an example of how I might build a balanced plate for myself, but please keep in mind that we all have different needs, different calorie requirements, different macronutrients and vitamin requirements, so you might need more or varying amounts of certain foods. But overall, the concept is the same. Try to include a protein, a carb, and a fat source in your meals because this helps keep you satisfied and satiated for longer. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to check out more videos of mine, check out my channel, and I'll see you in the next video.